All right, so this is the Gucci product that I mentioned in my, my Ace sneaker unboxing and review video that I got. Now, the bag for this is just, it's so gargantuan that I can't fit it in my tiny little frame here. So I've just gone ahead and uh, set the bag off to the side, just forget even trying to fit that. Now this isn't um, a sneaker, as you can tell from the title, it's actually a bag and um, they've they packed it up nicely for me inside of a protective bag here. Now the thing that uh, I didn't notice until after I left the store was that I think this bag is actually supposed to come, like I think they're actually supposed to pack this inside of a box. Um, now I could have not got a box for various reasons. Maybe they didn't have any more boxes in the store. Um, the store I went to also, this was a different store than the where I got the Ace with Flames. I got this while I was out traveling, and the store that I was in, they were renovating the store, so it's possible that, like, this, they were using, like, one-fourth of their store. They were, like, just keeping a small bit of it open during renovation, and it's possible that because of that, I, I don't know. But these events led to me not getting a box with this bag, and I think it is supposed to come in a box. Now, I'm not too um, upset about that, because if I did have the box... I do not know how I would have brought this back. I wouldn't have been able to fit it in my luggage. So it's like, you know, lose-lose situation. Now you can see this bag uh, has Gucci written on it. It's just a black bag, nothing too special, not too dissimilar from the dust bag uh, from the Ace sneaker. Go ahead and take this out and you can already see the, the Gucci stripe there, green, red, green. Now this is quite the bag here. All right, so this is it. This is the Gucci Tion or Tion Tion, a messenger bag. So what this is, it's just the classic Gucci uh, house, you know, monogram print, not too dissimilar from like, you know, like a Louis Vuitton print or something like that. Um, classic bag design as well, but it's been done up with this uh, 18th century Chinese uh, tapestry print with, with birds, with flowers and, and butterflies, all kinds of stuff. Now, when I purchase things, especially things that are very expensive, like this bag, I like to put a lot of thought and consideration into um, what I get. And I had been eyeing this for a while, for, you know, like a few months now, I've been thinking about getting this. And what really pushed me over the edge was uh, seeing it in the store. And there's actually another bag with just the same messenger's bag with the Supreme print on it, it's just the canvas coated bag except instead of this Chinese print it has patchwork on the front and I really like that bag I think it's a little bit less feminine looking but I tried it on in the store and the thing I noticed about it that I didn't like well first off it costs like $300 more than this bag and the patchwork is only on the front and it's kind of sparse and the back of that bag is just plain whereas this one has a full design it has even more on the back and I think that that is um, a lot better. So you can see here just how vivid and, and beautiful this print is. It just, it looks so good. So this bag is um, the outer here, the, what we're looking at that has this print on it with the birds. Um, that is actually canvas. It's a coated canvas, um, not too dissimilar from what you would find on like a Louis Vuitton canvas bag where it's been coated. And I think that's actually a good thing because it's probably going to wear a little bit better than if it were just a leather bag. Here's the front. Now you can see um, we do have leather details on here and I'm gonna go more in depth on that. But right here you can see we got Gucci made in Italy. It's very subtle and hard to see, but it's there. Um, as well as the hardware here, we've got this little buckle and that also has Gucci written on it as well. Same over here on the right. I really took my time when I was in the store. I've never purchased a, a bag or, you know, this is, I'm not even gonna pretend like uh, I'm not even gonna call it like a a man bag or something. This is this is pretty much just a just a purse. Um, I've never bought a a bag like this before ever. So when I had it in the store, I've heard some horror stories about um, uh, Louis Vuitton quality and like Chanel quality going down. So when I had this in hand in the store, I was really giving it a good look over to make sure um, that everything was in order. And you can see here the stitching looks pretty perfect to me. Um, now, like I said, I'm kind of an amateur when it comes to bags, so maybe I'm missing something, but you can kind of see the detail on the leather that goes all the way around the bottom and sides of the bag. 
And now, of course, we've got to take a look at this, the strap itself, which I didn't really notice as much looking at it online. Um, it's more noticeable in person. You've got the, the Gucci green, red, green stripe as the, um, the strap for the bag. And then it comes up to this big, fat, very thick and hard piece of leather here, which is where um, your shoulder will rest um, on the strap. In terms of practicality and function with this bag, you've got, of course, this zipper in the front here. Now the website says that it has a place for your phone. I assume that they mean this because it um it goes down pretty deep, but you'd, you'd have to fit something kind of thin in there, which would probably be like an iPhone or, or whatever you have. Then of course, the main part of the bag is, is up here, this main zipper. And oh, there's some protective tissue paper in here. Let's go ahead and take this out. So the inner of this bag, if you can kind of see, you've got another one of these that are on the front, this Gucci made in Italy leather uh, patchwork here another one inside and the inside of this bag it I don't know if it is suede but it sure does feel like a suede lining on the inside um, okay this could be for your phone too I guess so if you can't let me see if I can get a better angle for you guys you can see these patch or these pouches in here I guess that could be for like cards um, money whatever I you probably could fit your phone in there as well probably not like a a Galaxy Note or, or iPhone 7 Plus, anything big like that, but maybe a smaller phone could fit in there. And then you've got another inner pocket. Oh, you got paperwork in here. Let's see what's in here. I think this is some kind of a uh, serial number or something. This is another one of these Gucci responsibility things. Another Gucci responsibility thing. Oh, what's this? That's weird. So this is like a, what is this? It's like a sample. It's like a piece of sample fabric from the bag, I guess. That's kind of bizarre. Don't know what you're supposed to do with that. Just put it back into this foam bag. That's a bizarre inclusion, the bag. Um, yeah, this is a pretty big uh, zipper pocket in here. Could probably fit a lot of stuff in there. Um, so why did I get this bag? Well, the way I looked at it was I've wanted some, I've wanted a bag like this for a while. And in terms of the Gucci products, like the shoes are really expensive, but compared to everything else, like some of, t some of the t-shirts from Gucci cost more than the Ace Flame sneakers that I got, which is fucking insane. It's just cotton t-shirts, but I wanted to get something else um, besides shoes. And, uh, you know, the outerwear, it's like $3,500 for a silk jacket. And I'm not trying to, I'm not really trying to do that. That's just insanely expensive. Uh, so I wanted to get something like this, a bag that I've wanted a bag like this for a while. Um, I have this Comme des Garcons wallet that I got a while back that I'll finally be able to use because it's just, it's too big, as you can see, to put in a pocket, like in a jean pocket. So I'll be putting that in here as well as like, um you know, maybe perfume, whatever I need to put in here that's like a small everyday carry item. Here it is on body. I've never recorded anything like this before, so I hope that the video came out okay. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what the bag looks like in real life on a human because it looks a lot smaller in the video and in pictures than it actually is in reality. It's a larger bag than you would think. I've been wearing it cross-body. Um, you could conceivably wear it like on one shoulder, which is what I've seen them do on the official pictures on the website, but I'd probably have to adjust the straps a little bit because that's just uncomfortable for me and it feels like it's going to fall off constantly. And when you really wear this thing cross-body, I hope it comes off in the video, but like this, the strap with the big Gucci stripe, it's so hilariously obnoxious and uh, in your face when you're wearing it. I love the way that looks. This is me from the future. I've worn the bag a few times out. It fits everything I need to fit in it. It looks good and it's comfortable. No qualms there. It never comes down to that with something like this though. It always comes down to the price of it. And yes, the price of this bag is astronomical. It's very expensive.
And was it worth the money? Well, if you just look at it as a bag, you know, in terms of any bag on the entire planet, no, definitely not worth the money. But in terms of like the luxury designer bags, comparing this to like Saint Laurent, Balenciaga, or of course Louis Vuitton, it actually is pretty reasonably priced coming in a lot cheaper than a lot of equivalent Louis Vuitton bags, at least the ones that I looked at. You know, and add into that that this bag design that I got specifically with this print on it, I think it's very unique and doesn't really look like anything you could get from a Louis Vuitton or someone like that. I know that most of you probably aren't rushing to go buy a bag like this, but if you do have any questions, I'd be glad to help you down below, and as always, thanks for watching.